Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with another one of my Sudoku problems. Uh, this is one that was submitted to me by Dying Flotchman, so thank you for that. Um, this one has been rated medium difficulty by my testers, so I put it out as that. I wasn't sure, I thought it might have been an easy, so you can judge that one for yourself. So, um, yep, the rules of killer is, of course, the digits in the cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage, and digits cannot repeat within cages, and the goal of this is to place the digits where in the cells with X's in them. So I'm going to let you pause the video and see if you can solve it. There's a link to the puzzle below, or you might be able to do this one in your head. No problem if you can't. It's just something you might try and want to try and do. Um, and in a few seconds, I'll come back and I'll explain the logic on this one. Okay, so um, on this puzzle, um, yeah, the goal is to get these three digits, and there's a couple of tricks you need to do for this one. So the first one is in all involved around box five and understanding the fact that um, what the total of these three cells is. So if you were to take um, all of the, the digits that are placed in um, this box at the end, in a Sudoku grid, it'll be all of the digits from one to nine. So we know that in the final grid, if we ever got that far, um, box five would have to contain um, those digits, which will sum to 45. But we've got a 12 and a 13 cage. So if you subtract 12 and 13 from 45, those are 25. These have to sum to 20. So you know these sum to 20. Now, so that's the yellow cells or the cells with X's in them, you know, convenient. Now, um, if we think about a three cell eight cage, what's the largest digit you can put in a three cell eight cage? Well, that would be a five with one, two and five sums to eight. If you think about a three cell nine cage, the last largest digit you can put in a three cell nine cage is one, two and six. Um, so the largest this could possibly be is five and the largest this could possibly be is six. Those sum to 11, but we know that these have to sum to 20. And if these sum to 11, this has to be a nine, which is the largest it can possibly be. And if they're any lower than their maximums, we won't get to 20. So we know that this has to be five, this has to be six, that gets us to our 20, and that is the solution of this Sudoku problem. So there's a few tricks involved here, knowing the possibilities of the cages, knowing what the maximum digits that can go in the cages is, and understanding that if, um, the this um, box needs to sum to 45, and you can therefore get the total of those cells and then work down. That's probably why this was rated to be a medium, and I kind of get it, I suppose. So that's the solution to this problem. Uh, hopefully you found that one um, interesting and that you're enjoying the series. Um, as always, good luck with your solving. 